We're sitting outside of our Walker's Point Milwaukee Brewery. Gonna go inside and brew up a rhubarb IPA. They're brewing on a 15 gallon spike system. Let's go show you how to use it. Now we're inside Mobcraft's 30 barrel brew house and we're gonna be brewing on our 15 gallon spike system today. Henry, you ready to brew? You bet. Let's do it. First thing you wanna do is make sure all your valves are closed so you don't have any water squirting out at you when you're filling up your tanks. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure your false bottom is installed. The nice thing about our false bottom and kettle design is it has a step bottom. This allows the false bottom to sit on that top step and make a nice seal against metal on metal. It doesn't require any gaskets inside to make a tight seal. Also, we use a center pickup tube which promotes good flow through the grain and prevents any channeling from occurring. First, we're gonna hook up a hose to the outlet of the mash tun, to the inlet of the warp pump, then from the outlet of the warp pump to the bottom of the herms, and then from the top of the herms, it's going back to recirculate into the mash tun. Next, we're gonna hook up the outlet of the hot liquor tank to the inlet of the water pump. And lastly, the outlet of the water pump to the top recirculation port of the hot liquor tank. Next step, you're gonna to wanna to fill up your hot liquor tank. You're gonna to wanna to fill it above your Herms coil so it's completely submerged. The water in the mash tun is gonna run through the pump, through the Herms coil, and back into the mash tun. That's how it's gonna be heated. You're also gonna use all the hot water for your mash tun strike and any leftover for CIPing at the end. We're gonna set our strike temp to 170 degrees, so when we add our grain, our uh, temperature loss that goes down leaves us mashing in at about 155 for this 10 gallon batch. This spike system is an all electric system, so it lets us really dial in our temperatures and produce beers that are consistent and repeatable. All right, now we're gonna open up all the valves. You'll see on our bottom of our pumps, we have an air bleed system. This is nice for when you get air in your lines and the pumps start to cavitate. You can open up the bottom, bleed the air, and your pumps will be primed and ready to go. Now we're gonna turn on the water pump. This will recirculate water from the outlet of the hot liquor tank through the top recirculation port. This will keep consistent temperatures throughout the entire hot liquor tank. We're gonna turn on the warp pump now. What the warp pump does is take liquid from the mash tun, run it through your warp pump, through the outlet, into the inlet of the herms, all the way through the herms. It'll get warmed up, come out of the herms, and back into the mash tun. This is how the mash tun is heated and allows for very precise control. When we're heating our strike water and heating our hot liquor tank, we run the pumps full bore. Henry, let's cover up the tanks, go prep for the brew day and have a beer. All right. All righty, we are back, just about ready to mash in. Today we're brewing our rhubarb IPA. Pretty fun beer. We got uh, majority pale malt in here and a little bit of caramel 60. So shall we mash in? Let's do it. All right. All right, we're brewing a 10 gallon batch today using about 18 pounds of grain. Getting all those dough balls out of there. So we've been mashing now for 60 minutes. We're gonna turn the pumps off and close all the valves and get ready for sparging. We're gonna get our hoses and pumps set up for sparging. We're 
we're gonna open up the bottom purge valves and purge any air inside of the lines. So Henry and I just finished up our mash. We're gonna move to sparge. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move our hot liquid in our hot liquor tank. It's gonna go through the pump. From the pump, it's gonna go through the Herms coil. It's gonna clear the Herms so there's no wart left in there. It's gonna go into the mash tun. We have this cracked just slightly so we have just a trickle going into the mash tun. What this is gonna do, we wanna keep about an inch of water over the grain bed. It's gonna trickle through. It's gonna go through the false bottom so we have clear wart. It's gonna go out of the outlet, outlet of the pump, goes into the inlet of the boil kettle, and we're just slowly trickling everything through the system. We're gonna to try to do that as long as we can. We're gonna shoot for about 45 minutes today. Once your element is submerged, you can flip on the element and kickstart your boil. The boil kettle PID goes off of power. To change the power, simply hit that button three times, adjust your power, and hit enter. Henry and I just finished up our sparge. We reached our target pre-boil volume of 13 gallons. That's based off about a gallon of loss between your hoses and about a gallon and a half of your boil off. So we fired up our element as soon as the wart level was above the element and we've already got up to 196 degrees. We're gonna hit 210, 211 or so. As we wait, Henry, we're gonna add some hops. What are we adding today? Once we hit a boil, we're gonna add an ounce and a half of Cascade and an ounce and a half of Centennial hops for our bittering. And then at about 15 minutes left in the boil, we'll throw in another ounce and a half of each for flavor and aroma. We finish our 60 minute boil. We're gonna move the outlet of our mash tun over the outlet of the boil kettle. What this is gonna do is we're gonna drain out the boil kettle into the pump, back into the boil kettle, and start our whirlpool. We're gonna do that for about 15 minutes. All right, we just wrapped up our whirlpool, separating all of our hops and true from the rest of the wart. Whirlpool for about 15 minutes and then let it sit for another 10. Now we're gonna get ready to start the chill. Uh, we're going to change our hoses over. We're gonna open up our valves, open up the boil kettle. Henry, if you can open up the warp pump, we're gonna throttle this down just a bit so we reach our pitching temps. Now on to everybody's favorite part, cleaning. We have about four gallons left in the hot liquor tank. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move all that liquid into the mash tun since the inside of the hot liquor tank's clean. There's no beer inside of there. What we did is we hooked up the element before, so it's at about 180 degrees now. We're gonna move it to the mash tun through the pump. We're gonna add our brewery wash, and then we're gonna move that brewery wash pretty much through all the fittings, all the valves, all the hoses that we've used to brew. We're gonna move it from the mash tun to the pump, back through the Herms coil, out the Herms coil, into the mash tun, and then we're gonna flip the hoses, go through the water pump to clean that pump. We're gonna go into the boil kettle, we're gonna scrub that down. Once we're done and that's clean, we're gonna go into the wart chiller, and since Henry's got a nice brewery, we're gonna go into our floor drain, 
After that, we're gonna rinse it with hot water, sanitizer, and your brewery's gonna be ready to go for the next time you wanna brew. How about a pint of beer, sound good? Let's go do it. Awesome, let's go over to the tap room. Thanks for showing us your 15 gallon spike system, really appreciate it. I'm sure the guys out there really appreciate you kind of showing us how, how you guys use it in your brewery. Yeah, it's been a blast having it in here. You know, Mobcraft's model is to brew beer by the people. You know, each month we turn a new idea into beer, ranging from a, you know, sour ale fermented with raspberries and ginger up to a barrel-aged barley wine with dates and vanilla beans. Instead of doing 900 gallon test batches, it's nice to try 15 at a time and, and see all those rocks. So Absolutely. One fun thing though, and I would say if you ever need to get any fun recipes, we've got all of our commercial batches scaled down to a five gallon homebrew batch size up on our website right on mobcraftbeer.com. Thanks for watching our video. Uh, if you have any additional questions on how the system's used, please uh, shoot us an email. Henry? Cheers. Thanks. <laughs>